it's caught in the crossfire. Watching their ceiling for 32 minutes, I decided just to add some old clips in there, so don't get confused, they're just old clips for something so you can watch it and not have to stare at their ceiling fan in They tried to get me part of their program. Ugh, no, I reject that. Ugh. I ain't doing that shit. I, ain't, I, I want nothing to do with that metal facility, ever. Again. Can you put yourself in that situation. You're here to act as a five-year-old and go get attention from Jason and say that you're going to unalive yourself. You can't say things like that and not expect to be found in a mental institution. Nope. I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. I never, ever want to be part of Guys Center again. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No. You're abusive and neglectful to your patients, and I don't appreciate it being treated that way. I'm not working with you. I reject care. Your reality, and I substitute my own. Jenny, I think a big thing that would be beneficial to you is not dwelling. Okay. Here's a big reminder. Mind your own fucking business about what I do with my own business. See how obnoxious you are to someone who didn't even say anything mean to you? They just said don't dwell on it because it's not good for your mental health because it's not. Look how you treat your own audience, the five people that go in there. Um. Some people, they think they're so entitled to tell me what to do with my own self. Yeah, I know. They get off on that. It's like, it's like well, you know. Yeah. That information is not for you to know. Thank you very much. You know, if I were in a, like a black metal band I, I, or like a, a typo negative type band, I would do a, like a, a typo negative style cover of It Must Have Been Love. What in Sam's hell is going on right now? Why does Jason look like he's getting ready to be like it's Halloween and he's getting himself uh, ready to play Beetlejuice. Why? It's been love. Pete Steele style. But it's you, adapt it. now. you adapt it to like Peter vocals. That would be sick sounding. If done right. You know, probably couldn't be done right. Because Pete's dead, so fuck it. Fuck it. Can't be done. You're better looking than Pete Steele. What? Yeah. Whoa, that's nice. come on. No. Yes. Nah. Way better. I just don't can't. That Way yummier. Don't agree with that. Way more delicious. Yeah, you 6'5". Like, I don't care. Uh, you're gorgeous. Okay, that's very flattering to say to me as your husband, but I know that's not true. No, that is true. All right, great. It's not, I can't accept that. <laughs> did did he clean out the chimney, Rev? Yeah. See, that's did. the makeup look, yeah. It's supposed to be that way. Ramstein in the mines. Absolutely. It's that style of makeup. It's industrial metal makeup. Yeah. Like you've been dusted in fucking uh, 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 silver and coal. Yeah. You got to check out Ramstein Live, you know? No, Till goes crazy with his makeup, man. It's like silver, like. Also, over on his face, crazy looking shit. That's what, that's the look. And my character had a fishnet Oh, but we've done Total Eclipse of the Heart. Oh, yeah, that was, <laughs> that was cute shit. We are cute. Yeah, the meals are gone, that's okay. Fuck it. They're, we still have our account, though. Our that's true. Accounts. They're all there. That's screen. true. I want to do Smeal again. I love that shit. That's so fun. Mm. And if you get good enough, mm. you could probably get noticed in that site, on that app. What app? Smeal. Oh. These two stunads think that they have the vocals of Adele and Tom Petty or whoever you want to name. Go back on Smeal. I need some entertainment and something to make me laugh. That would be fantastic. <laughs> Shani and Rev on Smule singing, thinking that the, the next Sunny and Cher would be hilarious to me. Jesus. Yeah. Well, Shani's going to Betty Bye in her brain. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's crazy. No. I'm, I'm sure I'm having just, like, bouts of almost such mania that I just almost black out from it, and then I'm, like, in another mind state where I'm just, like, I got thoughts in my head, but they're just going back and forth, and I'm not really thinking of them, and then I'm just taking cues off of the live stream to say things. 
it's I, this is Kanye. This is how Kanye gets looped. He just goes into a spiral. How does that explain me, though? I don't know. Why do I feel like I repeat myself every single time I say that Jason does not have bipolar or mania? Why? Every single video he says the same thing and he's never been diagnosed with it. I'm not saying that explains you with me. That's me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Huh? Mania. Okay. But this is a very good day, so it's like, it, it works. It is. It's a very good day. I happen to know a lot about bipolar too. And I can promise you, this is not what it looks like. This is just some squirrely little man running around, putting makeup on, and acting like a complete fool. There's no diagnosis here. There's no mental diagnosis, and it's all bullshit. He has no idea what he's talking about. Because there hasn't been one vindication, and it's one. Yeah. It's one. I even felt that with just the video being taken down. I'm like, oh my god, that's amazing. They actually listened to something. I can't believe it. Just for that, I was grateful. That's awesome. Yeah, it's true. And then he said, oh my God, he is grateful. I thank Jesus immediately. And he said, yeah, your all our videos are going. Ah, uh, that's awesome. Stop hurting people. That's justice. It's Christ, you know. Oh. Why do I have to go so hard on people? It's like I want to do things the nice, easy way. Not the hard way. And my character in, in Rock Band wore fucking trip NYC pants and black ones with chains all over the place like the ones, exact ones I have pretty much. And I had a fucking fishnet shirt. You're cute. A sleeveless fishnet shirt. You're cute. Thanks. I'm a fuck, too. You're like, you're like, oh, I don't like it much. Yeah, you do. Maybe. This is hot fucking looking shit. Maybe. Usually. I like you. I like you. I like you, too. I think you're pretty. Yeah. And the fishnets? And the fishnets? Yeah, that, that's that's Jason. A fishnet top. I did wear a fishnet top. I that. remember that hustler top you had. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that was not very well made. It no. Needed, it needed to be two sizes. But it looks good on you. This is all right. No, it looked real good now. It look awesome, but I need a small. So that yeah, it's Rev, you're really feeling yourself, aren't you? You really think that you have some muscle cut body that you are delusional, absolutely delulu. You are you are a little tiny weasel of a man. It doesn't matter how much you work out, you'll always be a little weasel of a man with a baby carrot. You're welcome. It's supposed to cling to you. So that you could, you need you need to have biceps and muscles to look good in it, really. The yeah. The hustler shirt, Brad Pitt Fight Club shirt, hustler. He looked amazing in the shirt because he was filled like fucking pecs, biceps. He looked oh my god, he was a god in that movie. Please don't compare yourself to Brad Pitt again because when you did it last time, it was cringy, and when you did it this time, it was cringy. You are no Brad Pitt, and there is no Fight Club going on. You need to get over yourself real quick, there, sweetie pie. Let me ask you, if you're in such great shape and you do all this working out, how come you don't get your lovely girlfriend to join you? Maybe she could drop a couple LBs and actually be a candidate for, for bariatric surgery. Why doesn't she exercise with you? Fight club. Brad Pitt. Right. That's the physique that every male aspires to that I've known. Tatted Jesus Babe 420 says, Rev, why won't you message me back? I haven't seen your message, but I mean, like, if they, I don't know who you are. Sorry. I haven't seen your message. We've been real- So is it you don't know who they are or you didn't get the message? Pick a lie. Pick a lie, Jason, because you are the worst liar I have ever, ever come across in my entire life. Wrapped up with something here, you know? We've had a situation with someone that really came to a head and thank Jesus, it's done. <sighs> That's real good to feel. Oh God. So many years, so many reports. Yeah. <clears throat> it's bullshit. Let's smoke up. I can breathe again. Yeah, celebrate, Tilk it. Oh, my fucking arms hurt, and I'm fucking getting tired. Dude. What do your arms hurt from? Lifting them above your head? Do you, like, what do you do all day except sit on a couch that you pee on? I'm, I'm, I'm honestly asking what you do. You're pretty. You're, you're pretty, too. You're pretty. <laughs> you like the makeup, man. You'd like it. It's hot. It just is, you know. Women don't throw their panties. It's all these metal guys. You do realize that she privated her videos and she disputed the claim and you have 10 days to provide proof. <laughs> How much proof do I need to provide that uh, our Instagram. my channel, my Instagram belongs to me? Yes. And Instagram. You own your Instagram. That's the evidence. Case closed. See how easy that case is? It's so easy. See? Hiya. Uncle Roger knows a very good case to win very fast. The carry go lose. Hiya.
You're a loser. She, you know how she won already? The name on the Instagram is Shannon Eileen Dornbush. <laughs> she won. That's it. That's the evidence. You know how I also won? Is YouTube took care of the removal request. Oh, another one. The other one. It's resolved. That's why she took, she did not take her channel down because she, she's just, she took her channel down because she's going to lose it if she didn't take the videos down because we're flagging videos. Legitimately, they're going through. It's green. They're Shannon's videos. Her name. Shannon Eileen Dornbush. Her name. You own it. You won the case. That's all you need to do when you go to court if this goes to court. Shannon. My Instagram is my name. If it's a copyright claim, you have 10 business days to show YT you're taking her to copyright court. Okay. Cool. Let's do it. Yeah, sure. Pro bono. Case. Could somebody email me a pro bono lawyer? We'll go to court. 10 days. Sure. I don't give a shit. Why are you bringing her up in my chat? It's to cause problems, obviously. They just want You think that if you can get a lawyer pro bono, meaning free, who if ever anyone didn't know what that means, that you have a case against people and that you're going to sue them on YouTube? Are you that ignorant and that uneducated? I don't know a lot about law, but I know that's not how it works. Try again. I have yeah. Do, you know? There'll be a little messenger somewhere else. We had a win here. Yeah. Bye. Put the video back up. We already won. Seriously, Jason, don't act like you don't know who I am, ass. Tatted Jesus, babe, 420. Let me see her. Where is she? Tatted Jesus, babe. Let me see her. I don't know any fucking screen name like that. Never seen it. Where are they here? I don't know. Oh, is this glitched out? Right there. Let me is see. she... They're trying to start shit. I know. I, I told you everything. Everything. So whoever this is, I don't know. Tata Jesus, babe. That sounds like a very set-up name for me. You know what I mean? I know. They're so obvious. It's very obvious. Poor 20. And Stoner, too. Like, seriously, come on. That's so caricature. Like, like your beaver pleaser. Like, it's caricature. Like, God. That's crazy shit. There we go. Crash out. Yeah. Okay. That's nuts, bro. I know, right? The name is just so obvious. I know. Huh. Tatted Jesus Bait 420. Bait sounds like bait. I mean, that's, that's Obviously bait. One follower. Total bait name. Probably J.D. King. Some weirdo. J.D. King. Hi, Jess. I put my Her real name? Catfish. Exactly. Sure. Because it's not even a woman. It's some. It's like Michael Clifton. It's probably some fat dude behind his screen. <clears throat> Michael Clifton. Who smells like Cheeto dust. And You have the audacity to call someone else overweight and say they look like they're... They look, probably look like they're covered in Cheeto dust. Are you kidding? You Like, you're one to talk, Shannon? Tuna. B.O. We're good. Yeah. Enjoying life. Yep. Haven't slept a wink, but enjoying life. Oh my god, we haven't. It's insane. <laughs> Just stay up forever, I guess. That's it, Jake. <coughs> you want to go to sleep? I don't know. <coughs> I don't think I could. <coughs> this stuff is weak. I don't think I could. That's the truth. You don't think you could sleep? I don't think so. No, it's too. there's too much. It's too much. It's, it's apple, apple, apple. I can't do it. You know? Should I turn the live stream off and we just chill? No, you can oh. do what you do. Why not just keep it on? Yeah. Why not? Good. It's a good day, really. It doesn't matter any reason that she took it down herself if she did. We don't know that even. That she took it down. We don't know that. YouTube says they took it down. <laughs> they did say that. Well, the two of them, right? Yeah. yeah. The rest, maybe she private it. It's still a win. It's still a win. You can't take it. It's a win. Copyright court. Yeah, go to copyright court. Name on the account on Instagram, Shannon Eileen Dornbush. You know what name's not on there? Carrie C. Her name's not on there. Hence, Shannon wins. Yeah. That's easy court game. I could do that. I'll represent you. Exactly. Looking like this. That's it. So, whatever. Whatever. Yeah. It's a win. I don't care what happens. Let the video go back up. Who cares? We won already. Uh, doesn't matter. Abusive requests are when someone is intentionally and maliciously attempting to remove content from YouTube through a likely false assertion of co copyright ownership. Now I'm copyrighted. You own it. 
Yes. You. Oh. It says when our automatic systems are insured, if the removal request is valid, <coughs> has all the legally required elements, and isn't abusive, then a trained human re reviewer evaluates the request. If they need more information to validate the request, then a human reviewer will email the claimant and ask for more information. For example, the claimant may ask to provide more specific blah, 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 blah. There. I don't need to prove anything. Do you realize why this is definitely good for us? Why yes. two police departments talked? I'm telling you. Yep. Two police departments talked. Yep, and she's and gotta say, use oh, an excuse. Confirmation, we know that they've been doing this for this lady. Yep. And they gotta use an excuse that it's of course, something, yeah. oh, it's something happened, else. Nothing happened. They always do this. When yep. we got swatted with Shane Dawson, they said nothing happened. Yep. They broke the law. Brianna's law, right? That's what it's called. Aw, I love you too, Jess. Bro, tell you say. I love cheese. Bro. Ta I love cheese. Oh, it's beautiful. I love cheese. Yes, I do. The Irish Shatter from Gary Gold is the bomb. Hi. Hey. hey. Celtic, Celtic Frost is the band. Now. That's the paint, mainly. Celtic Frost. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very much like it. True. But less black and more metal. Because it's industrial. Ugh. It's so nauseatingly hot. Yeah, it's horrible. Well, we could turn off this shit, put fans on both our sides. And cool the fuck off for the rest of the night and watch some some video or something. I don't know. I'm okay staying on for now. I want to be on. You guys are the reason I use nothing but carry gold. It changed my life. It's true. It's so good. <laughs> why would you move it out? If you're going to have butter, why not use that? It's the best. I know. You know, Chance. Right? I don't know what else I have to provide to them. I don't see anything telling me I have to go to a lawyer or anything. No. No. Because it's my content. <laughs> it's not your content. It's my content. Well, maybe in 10 days, if they say, oh, there's no copyright file, fine. Let it go back up. I we won. Fine. Who cares? But I think the police talked to you. The police did talk to you. Don't ever admit that, though. You took those videos down real fast. Yeah. Pretty quick. I could call the PD again and ask this because she took her shit down. Did you guys do something? Thank you. If you did. Yeah. I could do that. You could. That's no need now, but yeah, I could do that. The Irish cows get the best grass for food. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. What is with Kerry Gold that makes it so special, though? I mean, some say it's the grass. They gotta be happy cows, like really happy cows, because that's like love. Like you can taste that cow milk love in Kerry Gold. You're right. It's very rich tasting shit, because it is. It's rich butter. Oh. It's so fresh and such high quality, I know. Yeah. I know. It's, it's good on toast. It's good on anything. It's so fresh. It is. Absolutely. Well, that's the truth with that. Organic eggs do taste better. I think it's awesome that Chantal says, I have such fresh Jollibee in Kuwait. <laughs> he went to a cow cuddle session. That's so cute. Cow cuddles? They're the best cuddles. Sweet babies. I love cows. I do. They're sweet. They're beautiful. The mini cows and they're like very furry. Mm. They're so cute. And they hop and play. It's so cute. Life's crazy because you realize that the day that you were going through some of the worst shit, right? Yeah. Three major celebrities died pretty much in that same time frame. That's true. That's really crazy, man. And the radio is talking about it like we just had a huge devastating thing over the weekend. What the fuck does Shani's attempt at unaliving herself and being put in a mental ward have to do with anybody passing away? What's so weird about that? I swear you two are the two of the dumbest people I've ever come across. Yeah. It was like we were both doing shit. That's crazy. And just so you guys are aware, I'm adding clips of them talking from other videos so you don't have to stare at the ceiling the whole time. So I didn't mean to confuse you if I did that, but I'm not going to stare at the ceiling the whole time while I do it. <laughs> um, Pretty much. They lay down with you and just let you scratch them and all that. The same farm does baby goat sessions too. Oh, see, happy cows make happy food. You don't have to kill them. You can use them for their milk. That's right. Why the fuck kill the cow and have beef when you have milk all the time for years? Why kill the chicken and you have the egg? Shelly Duvall and Richard died on their birthdays. That's weird. Whoa. Nah, that smells funny. Yeah. That stinks. No, there was some black magic shit going on. Yeah. They were doing rituals, and that's why all this got popped off with us, even. 
they lose as always. The yeah, devil but, always yeah, loses. He's an idiot because he thinks that our faith can cave in Christ. That's dumb. Yeah. Once he's in your heart, you can't take him out. He's got Do you to... realize it? Like once God is in your heart, it becomes an obsession. It's impossible to get away, and you don't want to be away from Christ. What's wrong with you? Right? He's literally. Oh, shut the hell up! I'm so tired of you two acting like you're these holier than thou Christians when you're two of the most abhorrent people I've ever come across. Stop with the oh, we love Jesus. Jesus is King. Stop with all that. We're tired of hearing it because your your actions do not display what comes out of your mouth. You're vile people. Really, the protection. You won't wear a fucking crystal. No, you need Jesus in your heart. That's fucking it. Oh, so what happened to turning the other cheek? Because for such a good Christian, you have a lot to say about G-Man that's pretty negative and horrible. You have a lot to say about Carrie that's negative and, and horrible. You have a lot to say about the Geek Room that's negative and horrible. So is Jesus in your hearts? Because all you do is sit here and talk shit about people who call you out on your bullshit that you don't like. Too bad. Get over it. It's not changing. Sorry if you don't like that because it's too narrow. Well... So is truth. And what exactly does your ass know about the truth? Do you know how many lies you two have told us over the years? Hundreds. Hundreds at minimum. You are the biggest liars on the internet. Hey, Shani, what happened to that breast cancer you said you had? That you were dying from breast cancer. Where's that at? That, that you just forgot that you even said that? Because we didn't. Truth's narrow too. Sorry. Sorry, I gotta. I'm laughing at someone being dumb. Oh, okay. It's pretty sad, dude. You know what's funny? When their numbers are re like removed, mm -hmm. it's like everything becomes so weak looking. Like just even their yeah. how they come at me. It's so weak. Yeah. Like. It's always some lame, off-color, condescending thing. It's I interesting. I don't. And it's just like... It's because they don't have any, you on anything, actually. I know. Real shit. Thank you, Jess. They and their life have done far worse than you, period. <coughs> oh. I did hear there was a dude who did that, Lizzie. Did what? Uh, a prophet earlier in the year said that Trump... Uh, Trump shoot in and then he turned to God and make him born again. I don't know. Oh, uh, I don't know. Trump as well. Wow, I don't even know. I don't want to. Oh, God. Yeah, we're fucked. We're fucked. You're fucked because you made your life into an absolute shit show. That's why the two of you are fucked. Not because of what's going on with the, uh, with the pol with the with politics because of the way you chose to live your lives. Yeah. There's no hope. Jesus. Well, duh. That's a duh. But I mean, in the temporal oh. before he comes back. I hate politics too. I don't see any reprieve for it anymore. It's no. time for him to come back. Again. That's it. I think so too. I really do. I, people are sick of it too. They all want Jesus too. Even atheists are like, yeah, let's try it. <laughs> let's try it. Let's try it. It's better than this. <laughs> Jesus was all right. Yeah, holy shit. Exactly, got... fabulous bones. Life is too short to be that petty and miserable. Smiling is free people, so is being kind. Oh, yeah. They'll learn eventually. Maybe eventually they'll have like a bad day and someone smiles and then they finally get it. I wouldn't be smiling too much if I was you, Shannon. A tooth might fly out and hit Rev in the eye. You never know. Those four are really dangling. They're hanging on by a thread. You might want to get that checked out. Had a bad day. Man. Yeah. Doesn't that feel good when you're having a bad day and someone actually smiles at you? Yeah. That's what that song's about, by Fuel. Yeah. I wrote a note and said, I'm sorry, I had another bad day. I fucked up. That's, like, totally human. Fuck up. Humans. Yeah. Yep. You, you can always repent, though. You can. Yep. And stop the shit. Repenting is good. Well, then maybe you two should start repenting for all the shit that you've done. Maybe you should stop worrying about what other people need to repent over and worry about yourselves, Mr. and Mrs. Christianity. Who are you to tell anyone to repent for anything after the shit you two have pulled? It's very good for the soul. Yeah. 
You'll feel better. Way. You wouldn't be so uptight. Way better now. Clean. Like, I believe in you. I feel clean. Me too. For real. We did the right thing today. Damn right. Something happened. We had to. This was too much. You left me no choice. Oh, she's lying. She's home. That's it. I decided then I'm going to do something when I heard her saying this. And I'll, oh, he just wants $100. That would be nice, but no. You can give 100 out of any of things if you want. Not the point, though. Also, uh, getting late helps you with being uptight. That's true. Right. Yeah. That's smart, up, man. <laughs> it's a deal. This is a good day. Don't give a shit if the video goes back up. I don't care. We won already. Victory. It's still a paper trail. It's going to be here, yeah. Still a paper trail. You engage in abuse of a vulnerable adult. Come to my channel every day. Yeah, or after you. What's wrong with you, man? Cyber stalking. That's weird. Actual crimes. And it's this is the definition of cyber stalking. People putting their opinions of what you put on the internet is not cyber stalking. It's giving, it's called the freedom of speech. Have you heard of it? If you're going to put up videos and not expect people to respond or react to them, then stop making videos if you're so cyber stalked. Other than that, I don't want to hear about it. That's not the definition of cyber stalking. Open a fucking book. Google it. It's real easy to find. It's a felony because Shani's protected class. Get it? You're fucked if you keep it up forever. Keep doing it. And then we call the cops continually until we'll take you to court actually for abuse on a vulnerable adult and you're going to jail maybe six years. I suggest you do a little bit more research before you open your mouth and threaten to send people to jail for six years because they had something to say about what Shani decided to post on her channel. You are dumber than dirt. So shut up. Sweet. Both of us have severe mental illness. Yeah. Stop trying to trigger the people who are... If you two are so mentally ill, then how come neither one of you take a medication for mental health uses? How come? You don't have mental illnesses, not real ones, not ones that you were diagnosed with, just ones you made up. Neither one of you are on medication for any kind of mental health. So what are you talking about? You just talk out of your asses and you sound ridiculous. You can't do anything about it. You chose to put yourself online. That was your choice. People are allowed to react to that. Sorry. That's true completely, though. You don't know how true that statement is. You're very right about that. Because she's very, very sick. And people have just bullied her incessantly for almost her whole life. No, her whole life, pretty much. From the womb. You were bullied. Yep. Which proves you're a fucking prophet. Like... Oh, no! No, we're not frozen. No, yeah, probably not. I'm just saying. Did you hear that? Shannon was bullied in the womb, and that's why she's a prophet. Are you kidding me? Does that even make any sense? Or did you get in cyberbullied? Thank you, Jess. Thank you, Jess. You're sweet. Thank you so much. You have no idea how much that actually helps, that we have third parties. That <laughs> or something like that. You never talked about Carrie. No. Ever. Never. So you got tons of record on record, hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of shit of doing nothing but talking shit and cyber stalking someone that's vulnerable adult. Wow. You're not a good place to be in, just don't worry about hiding the videos, delete your channel. There you go. So that was my mishmash of a video. I um I just added clips on top of my uh, voiceovers so you guys had something to look at instead of their ceiling lamp. <laughs> That's pretty boring to watch, but um, I, I don't know what happened. I, I guess I'm guessing that they had a video of Carrie's taken down. And now that they think that now that that happened, they think that they can do that to everyone and all their problems are solved. Here's the reality. You two came onto the Internet when you guys had money. You called us peasants. You looked your you turned your nose down at people who didn't have as much money as you and look at you now. And you can tell me that karma isn't real, because karma is very real and you're experiencing it. So you could celebrate all day that a video of yours got taken down. There's so many people that cover you, it's it's saturated with hatred and aggravation towards how you guys treat people. 
you guys throwing the N-word at G-Man and other black people. You're terrible people, and you're getting exactly what you deserve. If you don't like it, you shouldn't have ever, 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 ever celebrated someone's death that was a friend of the Geek Rooms. You should have never, ever said the things that you did. Ever. You should have never allowed Rev back into your home after he assaulted your poor little kid. You two are vile people, and I will not stop letting people know that so nobody donates to you anymore because neither one of you deserve it. You could smoke cigarette after cigarette through this whole video. You are grifting losers who are too lazy to do anything for themselves. It's pathetic. You're like two little kids. And you think it's a good thing that you got someone's video taken down? Well, congratulations. Guess what? If you put in Shiny for Christ on YouTube, the amount of abhorrent videos people have made about your behavior, it's endless. So what are you going to do? You're just going to go after, you're just going to go after everybody? I don't think so. And there's no pro bono lawyer that's going to come and save you either. So get over yourselves. Stop making ridiculous videos. Start treating people with respect. Stop feeling sorry for yourselves. Get up off your ass and do something. And get a life. This is pathetic. The fact that you have been living in Uncle Tommy's house for three years and you haven't yet gotten a job is just a, a proof of how entitled you two think that you are. And it makes me sick and it makes everybody else sick. So do the world a favor and go away. I don't care if you never live stream again. Won't be any skin off my back. So that's really all I had to say. I just thought their video was obnoxious. And, um, and that's that. But you guys, my lovies, you guys are all amazing. And I love every single one of you. And thank you for being patient with me while I was, uh, while I was, uh, trying to get the other video done but it's an hour and 23 minutes and i have to voice over the whole thing so i'm gonna work on that today so um anyway hit the like on the way in or the way out and i will talk to you guys soon i love you guys very much and i hope you have a wonderful wonderful day love you guys